Hello everyone, it's great to see you again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Hope that you enjoy this content. And also, if you are enjoying the things you see on this channel, please do consider subscribing. It definitely helps out the channel. If you like this specific type of content dealing with logic gates, uh, be sure to like this video. It helps me know to continue to make more down the road. All right, so let's get to the main topic today. You'll remember this circuit from before, from adding two binary digits together. Now, it basically it looked a little bit different. Um, they weren't staggered quite like this. Uh, I did that to make it a little bit more compact. And also in that video, we didn't have this circuit here. Now, what this does is this allows us to work with carrying. So this is actually an add with carry circuit. Now you might be thinking, what does that mean? Well, let's work with the numbers eight. Uh, no, we'll do that for the final example. Let's work with the number nine in our decimal example here and the number two. All right, so when you're doing math, at this point you probably just look at it and go, well, that's the number 11, that's easy, but let's look at how we get the number 11. We start with nine and if we add one, we know that we have to carry one over and then we have another one left over, so we end up with a one down here. So we end up with one down here, and with the magic of copy and paste, we can carry one over. There we go. And one plus zero plus zero gives us another one. So we have successfully added together nine plus two, and that gives us 11. In the process, we did this carry. Now, by having this here in our circuit, you can see this is the number zero, all the switches are open, and this is the number zero, all the switches are open. If we run this, we should get zero coming out, and let's see if we run it, yes, we get zero coming out. That's great. Now, if we apply voltage to this little spot in the circuit right here, and we run it, you can see we get one. Now, why is that? The reason that is, is because we essentially are adding a carry in. We are saying that take these two numbers, add them together, and add in a one. And that gives us a final result of one. All right, so that's easy enough. Now, let's start to discuss two's complement. Two's complement is a way to represent negative numbers using binary notation. So let's use the numbers eight and the number seven. So we know that eight plus seven is going to give us 15. Um, it's not too terribly complicated because we know that we are, we'll include the carrying just because we've been talking about it but this is the process that we do to get there. We get the number 15. Okay, that's great. We care about subtraction in this video though. So how can you subtract these? Well, that's easy, right? You make this negative seven, and by making it negative seven, all of a sudden, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this off in space for now, we end up with the answer of one. Eight minus seven gives us one. So let's set this up to add first in binary. This is the number eight, and this is the number seven. We are working with a nibble. As you can see, there's only four bits. So that means the maximum number we can hold is 15, and the magic of hexadecimal is one nibble is one hexadecimal character. This would be um, adding together to give us 15, which is the letter F. And how do we get one, 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 one? Well, one plus zero is one, one plus zero is one, one plus zero is one, and one plus zero is one. So there we go, fairly straightforward. So, yep, we can do addition. We've proven that all of this stuff works and that's great. Now, how do we get negative seven? Well, the little trick with two, two's complement is you invert 
all of these bits and then you add one. And let's just do that as an example. This first zero turns into a one. This one turns into a zero. This one turns into a zero. And this one turns into a zero. We have flipped all the bits. Now we add one and that gives us this number. Now this is negative seven and you might be wondering, well, how does that work? Well, let's try it out once. One plus zero gives us one. Zero plus zero gives us zero. So we will do that. This zero plus zero gives us another zero. And this one plus one gives us a zero down here, but we have to carry one over. So we end up with this and there's a carry but there's really nowhere for that to go because our output can only handle four bits. So our final answer that we end up with is one. And eight minus seven or eight plus negative seven is indeed one. So that is the little trick of working with two's complement. Now, how do we do that with the circuit we have here? Well, we don't really want to invert all of these bits and then add one to it because we would need a specialized circuit to do addition which is this circuit here but the little trick that we can do is let's start with our seven again so you can see how we got <laughs> that's funny um there we go so this is what we started with let's invert them yet again so the first zero turns into a one then we have a zero a zero and a zero but remember we can carry in by putting voltage here so we can add one by doing that and that essentially is the same as adding one down here it's just that we're doing it in a slightly different place so let's do that in action the thing we have to consider is um, we want to somehow invert these bits, first of all. And the best way that I can think of to do that is, I'm assuming the way that most people do that, is using an exclusive OR. So I'm gonna take one of these. And then we will explain why an exclusive OR in a second. Uh, let's just delete this line. This wire, I guess it would be. Actually, let's line this up so that it's, there we go. This isn't going to be the most beautiful diagram in the world, but it will be educational, and that's why we're here. So let's copy this a couple more times. Okay and stretch this, ooh, stretch this down, there we go, bring some wires across. So let's look at inverting of the bits first. We are supplying power and these are exclusive ores. So there's always a one on one side. And if we have a one and a zero, one and zero is indeed or, so that will give us a one. One and one, this is an exclusive or, and that's not an or, that would be an and. We, we would, um, it's not, there's not a one and a zero because it's an exclusive or, so it will give us a zero. Why not, let's just try it out and take a look. Okay, so yeah, we can see that we have a zero going in, a one coming out, a one going in, a zero coming out. If we open it up, it flips it. So we have successfully inverted all of our bits. This went in as zero, one, 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 and it came out as one, zero, 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 which is what we expected. So that's great. Now let's also run some power off of this little rail down to our carry. And we now have our one and look at our output is a one. You might be wondering why is this green over here? Well, remember how there is that little carry that we're just kind of throwing away when we're done doing this equation? That is what this is. This could get stored somewhere else so that you know that this equation overflowed um, 
and that's what's happening is it overflowed beyond our four bits that we have the capability to work with. Now the neat thing about this is we can also add a switch. If we add a switch in here, we are able to flip between addition and subtraction. So if it's open, it's addition. And we know that 8 plus 7 is 15, and we end up with 1, 1, 1, 1, which is indeed 15. If we flip the switch, it inverts, adds 1, and we end up with our 1 as our final answer. So there we go. This is the magic that you can employ to um, turn your addition circuit into a subtraction circuit. So I hope you found this video educational and you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you in a future video.